there's this moment right after you crush a clove of garlic where its odor fills the air. It's earthy and sharp and unmistakable. And for centuries, garlic has been praised for its flavor, its health benefits, and even for its ability to ward off vampires. But garlic has one major flaw. It clings, it lingers. I mean, it doesn't matter if you brush your teeth, floss, or chew gum, garlic persists. So this got me wondering, why does garlic make us smell so gross? And I have some bad news for you. This goes way beyond garlic breath. All the trouble initially begins when you chop or cut up garlic because not only are you releasing that flavor, that odor, you're also releasing all these other compounds and chemicals and enzymes. And one enzyme we need to focus on is called alanase. Now when garlic is cut open, alanase, this enzyme, can now interact with a compound called allein. And when this happens, it converts allein into allicin. But here's the twist, allicin is unstable, it's fleeting. So this molecule quickly breaks down into other sulfurous and odor molecules, including dialodisulfide, allomorcoptin, and most importantly for us, allomethyl sulfide. And it's this group of sulfur compounds that makes garlic so magical in our food, but absolutely maddening when it comes to our breath. Now you probably know this, but when you eat garlic, that first wave of odor, it comes from your mouth, right? Garlic breath or bad breath, which fun fact, I learned while doing this research, the medical term for bad breath is halitosis. Now having good oral hygiene or brushing your teeth, this is only a temporary fix because the mouth is only garlic's first stop. Here is where garlic pulls off its greatest trick. So that one compound, allomethyl sulfide, it doesn't play by the usual rules. So most of these sulfurous compounds from garlic, once they make it into the liver, they're metabolized into odorless byproducts, but not allomethyl sulfide. Instead, it entirely bypasses this system. Instead, it slips into your bloodstream, circulates throughout your body until it finds its way to your lungs which means every time you exhale, you get a little reminder of that garlicky meal you ate. And they actually found a study that measured this. So they had participants eat six grams of raw garlic. I was like, raw, that's kind of harsh. But so they had them eat the garlic and then they measured the amount of those sulfur gases coming from their breath, their lungs, and their urine. And what the researchers saw is like, it doesn't matter if you brush your teeth because the sulfur gases coming from your lungs, those bad odors are going to still persist even if you clean your mouth. And the second study saw that because it's coming from your lungs, this bad breath will last up to 24 hours after you ate the garlic originally, which is why hours later that garlic odor is still there. It doesn't matter how much you clean your mouth because it's coming from your lungs. But the story doesn't end there. Allomethyl sulfide has one more escape route and that's through your skin. So as your body sweats, the compound is actually released through your pores especially in areas where you have a lot of sweat glands, like your armpits, you're going to notice the sulfurous odor. Garlic just doesn't follow you, it kind of surrounds you. Is there a way to fight back? So researchers have actually discovered some surprising allies when it helps to combating garlic's odor. And they found that foods like yogurt, apples, or fresh mint or parsley actually have some compounds that help neutralize those sulfurous volatiles. Yogurt has this kind of like multifaceted approach to attacking garlic's odors, and this involves the fat, protein, and any probiotics that are found in the yogurt. So each of these can bind these sulfurous gases and sort of reduce their potency. And I was even reading in one research article that yo eating yogurt after garlic can reduce the amount of these like gases in your mouth by about 99%. So yogurt is probably a great idea after a garlicky meal. 
You can also try eating some fresh mint or parsley because these fresh herbs have one, enzymes that will degrade those odorous compounds from garlic, but they're also rich in uh, compounds called polyphenols. And these polyphenols are known for binding some of those bad smelling molecules. Another great option is eating apples. So apples actually have this enzyme polyphenol oxidase that will break down those sulfurous, bad smelling compounds. Also the sort of crisp and you know acidity of the apple can help cleanse your palate, as well as polyphenols naturally found in the apple are gonna bind those sulfurous compounds. If you enjoyed this video, next I recommend checking out what makes chocolate so irresistible.